Hello guys, um, uh, we have done um, iPad mini charging port that was day before yesterday and um, we uploaded the video as well how to replace the charging port on iPad mini 5. Uh, we have got another iPad mini here. Um, if it's not charging, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the charging port. So you can't just go ahead and replace the charging port without uh, looking at the other thing. So see, when I plug in the charger, um, the last video if you have seen, so the charger was quite wiggly, it was quite loose. But this one is uh, firm, but still it's not charging, see. So the next thing you might check is Uh, what volts you are getting on battery terminals? I will show you. Let's remove this. Put it here. And Okay, now check. We'll connect this directly. Do you see the fluctuation? So it goes to 1.9. Do you see? It goes to 1.9 and then drop it back. See, it goes to 2.2 .2 and then drop down. So if it was the charging port problem, that should have shown us no voltage at all but that's fluctuating that means charging port is working and maybe the tri-star has got the problem i might be wrong it might not be charging ic u2 charging ic it might be something else but we have to start from somewhere like uh, if the charging port is not working then we should not have the fluctuation okay now one of the problem here is uh, how to make sure it's not charging port as we assumed and um, it is tri-star so we will start from here I'll show you okay now to make sure it's not um, not the charging port because we don't want to we don't want to replace the charging IC if it's not the charging port so what we're going to do here now is connect here and now we will come back to um, layout and we know the charging port is on the other side which we don't want to remove the board so check this line which is pp bus this is 4 5 volt line and once this is highlighted we will come back here and look here so 
this line is connected to these components here right so if the charging port is intact we should get 4 and 5 volt here so let's check it I'm back here again and now check with the multimeter so the charging port is okay oh I have to restart my multimeter on screen multimeter so I can see it here it's 5 volt yeah do you see there so we got 5 volt here oh come on stay there man so do you see we got 5 volt here right so that's not charging port most probably okay now let's move and find out where the charging IC charging IC is here is the charging IC which I think you can read 1612A1 now we will check it out the good thing I like about working on iPad is you don't have to remove the board let's mark here I don't have to put this kept on tape but I feel like working safe I think it looks like okay to me I will just give it a clean now I don't want I never scratched too much Okay, that looks okay to me. We will a little bit dry it off. 
and then all ready to go. Yes. And we will put this back on here. But the problem is, uh, I don't, don't know when I. Let's get the new IC. Put it here. Yeah, yep. Okay. That's done. Okay. Does it look good? Sitting right? Yes, it is. Looks like it is. Anyway. Okay. Well done. Now um, the online multimeter the probes are very thick so I'm using my fluke multimeter so now we know that if this is uh, installed and this is what the problem was so first of all as you can see we have got 4.7 5 volt line is restored okay and the next is this one here which is three volt line which is restored and these three lines are important to charge 1.7 so that's all done so do you think it's fixed and it should charge now Yep, drawing one end. Alright, turning on. I feel sleepy today, but I have to finish few more jobs. One end. So the screen is a little bit broken from there, but you can see. Maybe you can see it's charging fine. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in next video. Bye.